it's my birthday hey you guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing very very nice and i'm sending a lot of hugs and force wishes to all of you you guys should be sending me stuff today because it's my birthday i am vlogging my birthday for the first time ever and there is actually a reason for it and the reason is that one of my friends actually one of like my two friends himalaya has actually decided to gift me an experience and something really amazing with that which is i am going to go to two crossword bookstores for one minute each and whichever book i can pick up in the one minute he's going to buy all of those books for me i am so beyond excited about this because of which i was not even able to sleep yesterday i feel like i don't really vlog personal days and i have never vlogged my birthday so i'm a little bit of like at loss with words but i am just so beyond excited about this the thing is that himalaya has been pushing my ego since the past two three days where he's like oh you know what i don't think you'll be able to pick up more than three books and stuff like that and even though he knows me since like five years he was the person who actually helped me to assemble my very first bookshelf so he has seen how crazy i get with books and still he's like oh you know what you won't be able to pick up more than three books and i think he's really underestimating it and i don't want to be a bad friend and just like go all out and pick out so many books that he spends all of his money on my book so i'm going to be very very mindful of the books that i pick up i'm not just going to grab any book here and there but if he keeps challenging me then it's not my fault like if he challenges me in the store then it's not my fault i have also been receiving gifts almost the whole week like the whole week i wake up and there will be like two packages waiting for me even today two packages were waiting for me these are the two packages that i got this birthday is literally one of the most memorable birthdays of all times for me now let me show you my birthday dress this is my birthday dress i am literally in love with it i feel like the barbie movie that's coming up in july i think i'll wear this to that movie also i genuinely feel like barbie right now you will see it further in the video but these are all the packages i got look at that i have to keep all of them boxed because i'm going to be doing a birthday unboxing but apart from that i don't know which books are there i don't know who has sent it and i am so beyond excited to unbox all of them which i'm not going to be doing in this video because this video is about me how many books i'm able to pick in two minutes one minute at each store the plan for the day is that we're going to go to starbucks obviously and have coffee and then my energy is going to touch roofs that have not been built yet and i feel like i just woke up like half an hour back or like an hour back and so i am like a little like i'm still waking up right now and i've not slept very properly because of how excited i was but once i have coffee i will get into my element and then it's going to be game Take the bag, take the bag. Oh. Then I'm just so let's scared. come. But I don't want to like look at the books and like decide. Okay. So that okay. I think I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah. Can I just say, Himalaya is literally the best 
fastest person in the whole world. We are on the bike and it's so hot and he's riding it and he's shooting and he's buying all of these books. I mean, my entire birthday is like made by him. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Okay. Ready to be destroyed. Chalna. My heart beat is high again. Do you want some time? No, no. Ready? Okay. Start. I was it was unexpected of you to take 11 days. I thought paanch hi lege hain. All right you guys this is a couple days later I am still wearing the same dress because I wanted to keep sort of the same vibe for the video but my birthday is over and I feel like I had the best birthday of my entire life. Now we have the packages over here. This is from store number 1. This one is from store number two, and I'm going to show you everything I got. You guys sort of already got a glimpse from all the montages and everything that I have taken, but now you get to see them properly. Before I start, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love that I got. I feel like on the channel, yet a lot of you guys don't know that it was my birthday, and so you have not wished me, but on Instagram, you guys did know because I put stories that it was my birthday, and you guys have only showered me with love and. so many amazing wishes and it really really warmed my heart this itself is a lot of books i understand five books is not less at all but with everything that was going on i was feeling really bad that i just got five books because i really wanted to beat himalaya in the challenge and i did in the end but even though i got only five books from this store i did get some amazing books the first book i got oh the receipt <laughs> i love receipts from bookstores the first book is the house in the cerulean sea it's never too late to follow the dream by tj Clune I talked about the book by TJ Clune which I wanted to read in the last video itself no actually you know I don't know when you guys are watching this but in the hall of may I talked about another book that I got by TJ Clune and I was talking about how I want to start with this author and so I got this one such a conscious decision in the one minute that I got I'm so proud of myself next up I got what did I get next we have Susanna Clark's Piranesi I have watched videos of people saying that this is one of those books that they want to read for the first time and they would do anything to read for the first time and i don't know anything about this but i think it is is it about greek mythology i don't know but i crave that feeling of oh my god i really want to read this book for the first time again because it just shocks you so much and you're not really in your own world when you're reading books like these that i got it next up i got i got the cruel prince by holly black now the thing is i started getting this this book because i thought that the entire series will be placed together but the organization was not very good in this like the first store the second store the organization was great and the entire series was not there together only this first book was there and i had already picked it and so i just got it now i don't know if i'm going to like this or not this is so not quite my vibe i have never read anything like this before so it's kind of good because then i get to read the first book and decide whether i want the other two books or not but at the same time i I usually buy all my series together and so that is a problem now the book is the cruel prince by holly black this one is such a popular book and so many of you have 
told me to read it especially because it's enemies to lovers and i love enemies to lovers next up i got a hardcover oh yeah i wanted this since so long it's murakami's novelist as a vocation i have read only one uh non-fiction book by murakami which was actually sort of like life-changing for me when i read his book what i talk about when i talk about running even though i'm not a runner it changed me in a certain way and it validated me in a certain way and that is what i'm expecting from this book in the end i think i got a weird book oh yeah no this is not exactly a weird book but again this is definitely not something that i would ever ever buy myself but it was there and it just my mind just clicked and i just picked it up because it's everywhere on the internet i don't know it just came up i had to pick it up okay the book is if he had been with me by laura nolan this book is so insanely popular and most of the people that read this book love it but it is a sad book and that is the reason i was not going to get it myself but at the same time it is a ya romance i think and that does make me want to read it it's the sort of book where it's good if you get it as a gift but you would not buy yourself and that is precisely what i did so i got this one also honestly speaking i think my stack from the first store is super duper amazing even if it was really small i got some amazing books that i can read and explore so many new things then came the second store where i killed it i think from the second store my goal was to get books that were half price because the second store has amazing underrated half price hardcovers and that was my goal and secondly i wanted to get good ya books because that store also has good ya books the first book though is like that and it is loveless by alice oseman i finally got it you guys now i finally get to read it i am so excited to read another alice oseman book after heartstopper i have been craving her writing like crazy because radio silence also is one of my most favorite books ever and now i get to keep this pink book with the blue book of radio silence radio silence is blue in color and they're gonna look so pretty together the next book is my proudest like i feel the most proud about myself for being able to get this and i remember thinking that you know what like fuck everything else i am just going to run and get this one while i have my eyes on it because i was about to freeze right before getting it and i was like i don't care i have to get this one this one was a very conscious decision and it is the volume one of heart stopper look at that it is literally the most beautiful cover in the whole world look at the back of it it is so beautiful i actually want to get all volumes of heart stopper in hardcover because it is just that special i can't believe i have but i'm so excited about it i think the second book is also out in hardcover so i will probably be getting that soon too but for now i have the first one and i'm extremely excited about it then we have amazing grace adams by fran littlewood this one i was actually planning on getting it by the publisher but then i decided that i don't want to get it because i had still not read the book that was like this which was eleanor oliphant because when you read about the book you realize that it's sort of like Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine then I was like what if I don't like Eleanor Oliphant then I don't want this book and I don't want to get it from the publisher and then not like it so then I decided to not get it but then by my birthday I had finished Eleanor Oliphant and I was like if there is any book out there in the world like that book I want to get it and this book is like that and so I bought it myself I mean I did not buy it I, it is a gift but I did choose to get this one I am insanely excited to read it also the text in this one is so big which just makes me so insanely happy and it's floppy and i'm just like can i just say i'm also reading lessons in chemistry right now and that is another story of another woman and then this and i read eleanor olfant and i read girl goddess queen and i've read one more book i'm reading all these stories of different women and it is making me feel so empowered it's the best feeling ever like i'm chasing it at this point the next four books are the reason why i was actually able to beat himalaya in the challenge that i will get a lot of books but at the same time i made a blunder with this choice i got all four books by karen m mcmanus which is one of us is next you'll be the death of me nothing more to tell and two can keep a secret these books also like alice oseman or any other series look so good together i love it so much but the blunder that i made was that i was so quick in getting it i forgot to get the first book in the series which is one of us is lying so i have all these four books by the author but i don't have the first book and i can't 
can't start reading them till I get the first book. Also, I think that One of Us is Lying and One of Us is Next is the part of the series and these are probably not part of a series. I don't know what it is. I have to do a research. You guys know anything about it? Let me, let me know. The reason I got it was because they look similar. So you would think that it is a part of a series, but I have no idea what is going on. Those were all the YA paperback books except Heartstopper, obviously. After that, I straight away went to the half price section and over there, I knew books that I wanted to get because the last time when I was getting books from the half price section, I saw these books and I really wanted them, but I was like, I couldn't get them because I already got five books. And so I was excited to get all of them this time. The first book is Simon Burton, A Time to Lie, When the Past Won't Stay Buried. Now I actually Amazoned all of these books to see the ratings and to see if it is hype and stuff like that. This one has very few ratings, I think 28 or 30 ratings only, which means it is utterly, utterly underrated. And I am very excited about that. I love how this book feels. It gives me the same vibes as the other two thrillers that I got. And now I have one more thriller inside and they're like four thriller hardcovers and I love it. Talking about the two of them, I was not able to remove this one sticker from the side, but the next book I got was Jane Casey's The Killing Kind. Look at that book it looks scary when you look at it and the ratings on amazon for this one is amazing this author is also very popular though i don't think popular in india and this is actually a thick book i mean these books seem big because they're hard covers and their text is big or whatever but this one is actually actually thick i think it's 470 pages which is thick thicker than the other books that i have got so I am insanely excited about this one. The next book is another mistake that I made. So there is this other book that I wanted from the half price section and I thought that I am picking up that one but Himalaya was doing a countdown behind me when I was getting the books and I was just like in such a rush that I got the other one instead of getting the one that I wanted because they look so similar and the book is It Takes Two by Kathy Newman, A History of the Couples Who Dared to Be Different. So this is a non-fiction hardcover book about people when people collaborate what it results into and I'm not saying that I completely hate the concept which is why I don't regret it also because I got it at half price it's not very expensive so that is also fine so I don't completely regret my decision but at the same time it is not the book that I wanted and I don't know if I'm going to like this one or not I really hope I do because I don't want to have spent Himalaya's money on books that I don't genuinely want because I just don't like it when people spend money like that especially on me like especially as a gift this is what it looks like i must say that it's really pretty and even if i don't like the book it will look really pretty in the shelf so i am going to keep it forever but if this book turns out to be something amazing and an amazing surprise for me that teaches me the importance of collaboration and how to do it then i will be forever grateful to god for this one and last but so not the least i think this is the prettiest book that i got and at the same time it's so out of my comfort zone but at the same time so in my comfort zone because i'm thinking it's from a villain's pov the book is the family corleone oh my god there are so many names here i don't know this is the prequel to the godfather and i have not read the godfather so i don't know anything about it and i need your guys's opinion so if you have read the godfather or watched the godfather tell me if i can read this before watching or reading them also tell me me if i should actually be reading godfather or not but apart from that this is literally the prettiest cover in the world this black is like really really deep black and it's like matte and then a red rose it's so pretty even the back of it is so pretty and i read this little thing i have no idea who vito corleone is but i am excited to read it it's like oh i'm not a violent man by nature but i have to protect my family and i will do anything for it and it all sounds so gray so i'm thinking it's from a villain's pov and i am really really excited about it got it at half price it's very expensive as a hardcover on amazon so this was mostly a steel deal from a bookstore for me and i'm grateful for that and with that we come towards the end of all the books that I got. These are the books that I got from the second store and I love this stack too. I feel like this stack is like not all oh, the popular books that I wanted but more of exploring more genres. I did make two blunders but I'm completely fine with it because 
as I said, it's more excuses for me to buy new books. And I think I got really amazing books out of this amazing 16 books. I have been getting so many books every month and I understand that. But at the same time, I have been reading so much this year. I think I've read like 60 books already this year and June is just starting. I am not able to have a collection to choose from. So yes, the good thing is that I'm still reading the books that I want to. But the other thing is that I like to have a collection to choose from. It's just a lot of fun when you're done with the book and then you get to go to your bookshelf and hmm, lol, what do I get to read this time? Like what should I choose this time? All of that is really fun and I'm happy that I'm going to have all of that now and I'm happy I'm going to get that feeling now and I have so many new genres and new things to explore. Now I do have more packages over here which I got as gifts from my family or from you guys you can already see the top one which is the percy jackson collection but apart from that i don't really know which all books are there in these packages because this is from the wish list and i don't know who has sent it and i don't know what they have sent and i am so excited to see it but you're gonna see this in the next video there are three hauls this month which is crazy it's like june 5th today or june 6th and i already have 30 books 30 new books so stay tuned to see what i got in these packages this this is going to be an unboxing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. And bye.